May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Let's listen to God's word and be doers of the word. September 1st, Thursday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time, ESC. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets, getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon. He asked him to put out a short distance from the shore, then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats, so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish, they had made seized him, and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the son of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon, Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. Reflection of the Gospel Message A great crowd of people was following Jesus. They were very hungry for God and were eager to hear his word. Jesus used this occasion to teach his disciples an important lesson. Simon Peter was so disturbed from a night of empty work, but he did what the Lord Jesus told him. When we come across disappointment and failure, we can come to the Lord, like Simon, to hear his word and to receive his advice. This special event of the miracle of Jesus tells us a significant truth about how God works in and through each of us for His glory. God count on us to do greater things than we can do by ourselves. When we cooperate in His works, we really can do greater things as God wishes because his word is broken, his kingdom is revealed, and his power is released. We are a new creation in Jesus Christ when we believe in his word, and may we be good witnesses of his truth and salvation to our families, friends, and co-workers. Please subscribe and press the bell for notification of future videos from us. Also, we'd be much grateful for your like and valuable comments. God bless you.